Hello folks, how are you today? Well, I have an interesting video today for you, I think. At the end of this video, we're going to do a little drone shot. I'm going to show you what the trail system is like heading to our wood lot. I'll show you roughly how far it is from the air. Right now I have a primer that is going bad on my snowmobile. It's a fuel primer setup. It's, a, it's on the newer, most of them are on the newer machines. I wouldn't say brand new because they're, a lot of them are EFI, electronic fuel injected. But my older style have these style primers. It's a pull and push style with a valve inside and an o-ring and I'll show you why they go bad. My worst good one is warm outside, but once it hits say minus 25, minus 30, it doesn't work because the little rubber inside gets really stiff. I'll show you exactly how they work folks. So basically what, what you have inside here is a barrel like a barrel and you have an o-ring on this shaft it just works like a syringe so that goes through here so when you pull on this it draws amount of it draws some fuel inside here like this and when you push on it it squirts it through but I'll show you how the valve setup works on this so usually when you when you draw this and when you push on it if you get gas coming out around this part here usually the o-ring on this is no good that's what happens um, so what happens, so on the end of this, this here goes right in here, okay? That's how, they, that's how they typically look like this. Fuel usually gets sucked through the one on an angle and it gets pushed out through the straight one. Now how that works is inside here, there's a spring inside here. You can see, I don't know if you can see there, where the line comes through here, there's a little hole here. Mm -hmm. And the center, where the fuel gets pushed out, there's a little line, there's a line that runs straight up through, there's a spring in there, and there's this little ball bearing that I just dropped in there, that little ball stays in there. That's part of the valve. This guy here, there's a little rubber part that goes in here and it gets pushed down there. So now what happens, when you draw in fuel, when you draw the fuel in like this, that little ball gets drawn up and it plugs this hole that you can see right through. There's a hole that goes right through there. So that little ball gets drawn up and it seals around here. This one's no good because this one cracked right here. I don't know if you can see where it's broke right there. Can you see that? It's ripped. I don't know if you can see that. It's ripped right there. See? That ball can't seal on that part anymore. So it's no good. Okay. So it'll, it'll, draw, it'll draw fuel up through here but it'll just push it right through around this ball and it'll, it won't work. That's what's happening right now. Now, some of these, I'm sure it's from using ethanol fuel. Some of these end valves here, that's still in there. That's what they look like. That end valve is super hard. It went like plastic. So it won't work at all, it won't pump at all. So what happens is when you draw the fuel in, okay, this ball comes up and gets locked against this part and it can't come through the center hole. But what it does, it flexes this rubber back and it'll draw fuel in through here. Flexes the rubber back this way, draws fuel in through this hole. When you push on it, this, this little flap here goes flat, seals this little hole here, and then the fuel can get pushed through the center of that hole, through around the ball and out through here. So what's happening on mine, this here is getting too hard in the cold and it's able to draw fuel through here, up through here, and all the way around through there and draw it right through the carburetor so your machines start to flood. So if you're messing around with a snowmobile and it's flooding all the time with one of these primers on it and you've messed with a carburetor, you've messed with a lot of things and it's still flooding, check your, check your primer out because it may be just look in your lines and see if you can see the fuel coming through here and coming around again. It may be drawing it right in the back of the carburetor. Usually the problem is these here get too hard or they rip right here They'll either, they'll either get too hard and they won't seal against here. See, they, they will seal just like this against here. See that hole there? It'll seal just like that. It should seal just like this. So when you draw it up, this little flap folds up. Fuel gets sucked up through here. It can't get sucked up through the center because when you, when you pull the plunger, it draws that little ball up and seals it against here when this is good. Force the plunger in and it won't go through this return back to the tank because this little flap is flexible enough when they're new they seal against there and it has to go through the center and go to the back of the carburetor again when these little rubber o-rings get bad what they'll do is either they won't draw the fuel up much but definitely when you push down like that if this little rubber is good here when you push down you'll have gas squirting out around you that's what happens with those and they're they're about uh almost $30 a piece here for one of these. So 
So what I think I'm going to try to do this summer, this spring, it'll be an experiment. I'll take the fuel lines, I'll take the lines off here, put them in maybe some transmission fluid or brake fluid, and I'll draw up enough to fill the barrel, and I'll leave it sit all, all summer with brake fluid or uh, transmission fluid, I'm not sure, just to keep these rubbers and O-rings from going hard. Well, Heather and I are back in here today, folks. We thought we'd come in and we broke our trail out. It took us all of about five minutes driving around our little trails here and packing them down again. We haven't been in here since the last big snowstorm. So we are just uh, running over them and it'll freeze by tonight, I'm sure. Tomorrow it'll be hard again. These little grips make it really good for pulling wood in here. We don't need any wood. We're good probably for another month or so, but uh, we wanted to keep the, brails, the trails broke down anyways. Gives us a nice little ride too if we decide we want to go for a ride in here. So just so nice in here. Lovely. Lovely. So I'm going to continue breaking some more trail here. Heather headed out that way. I think I lost her somewhere. I think she got on the wrong trail and probably headed towards home. So she'll go find a turn around and she'll be right back in here. Uh, but uh, anyways, I'm anxious to get that drone up here shortly and do a little fly around here and see what it looks like. 